In spite of considerable harassment, professional pilots continue to come forward with their accounts of incredible encounters with UFOs. Inventor and author Dr. Richard Haynes is seen here working with his computerized research file of over 3,000 UFO sightings by commercial and military pilots. Because good eyesight and sharp abilities of observation are required to become a professional pilot, Dr. Haynes believes that the testimony of these credible witnesses cannot be ignored. We're not dealing with mental projections or hallucinations on the part of the witness, but with a real physical phenomenon. One of the most thoroughly investigated cases in Dr. Haynes' file involves the near collision of a UFO with a United States Army helicopter piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Coyne and his crew. While flying over Mansfield, Ohio, at 11 p.m. on October 18, 1973, they observed a bright red object which paralleled their craft and then rapidly moved toward them on a collision course. I looked out the window and observed this light moving at a very excessive speed, in excess of 600 knots. Coming at the helicopter, it looked like a locked-on missile. A family of five in a car observed the strange red object on a collision course with Colonel Coyne's helicopter. They pulled off the road to watch. The thing that makes this particular evening a unique experience was that it was almost a mid-air collision with an object that we, or you know, as a UFO. We did not know it was such until it was on top of the helicopter, and that took just a matter of minutes. Colonel Coyne put the helicopter into a dive to try to avoid impact. When he and his crew looked up, the object was keeping pace with them. While I was in this position, uh, the green light came at from the undercarriage of the UFO. Colonel Coyne cut the power and set the controls for a steep dive. In spite of this, the helicopter was pulled upward toward the UFO from an altitude of 1,700 feet to an altitude of above 3,700 feet. Colonel Coyne and his crew observed the strange UFO at close range for approximately two minutes. The object that I viewed that particular evening uh, had a high degree of technology. It was composed of a structure and a design that we do not have. The object can move through the atmosphere without causing any turbulence. It can move at high speeds, below 10,000 feet. There are no vertical or horizontal stabilizers, no landing gear, no source of propulsion reflected on the craft. It looks like it, it, it could go fly in space. This document is the result of years of investigation into Lieutenant Colonel Coyne's helicopter encounter with a UFO. It verifies the facts just presented to you. Lieutenant Colonel Coyne felt so strongly about his UFO experience that he became part of a delegation to the United Nations that tried to encourage the UN to deal with the subject of UFOs. Increasingly, UFOs have become the subject of serious investigation by professional scientists. One of the 12 scientists to give evidence before the U.S. congressional hearings on UFOs is California nuclear physicist Stanton Friedman, who spent 14 years in private industry working extensively on classified government-sponsored projects such as this nuclear rocket engine and other advanced space systems. Since 1970, he is the only space scientist known to be devoting full time to UFOs. After 21 years of study and investigation, I'm convinced that the evidence is simply overwhelming that our planet Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled vehicles whose origin is off the Earth. In other words, some UFOs, underlying the sum about 10 times, are somebody else's spacecraft. Now, I'm only concerned with those UFO reports which indicate things of definite size, shape, surface texture, whose behavior clearly indicates that they were manufactured somewhere other than Earth. The kind of behavior that Stanton Friedman is talking about is the ability to go 10,000 miles per hour in the atmosphere as observed on radar and make sharp right angle turns. Nobody on planet Earth is able to duplicate that behavior.